Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be extending the range of my wireless network in my house here by adding a second uh, access port. And instead of a, doing a straight access port, I'm going to take a cheap router and then use it as an access port. And let me show you all the steps that we're going to have to do. Here I'm in the configuration for my uh, main router. So, th so this will be the primary router and, the, and we need to get a few pieces of information. Information number one, we need to find out what the IP address is. And this is a pretty standard number, 192.168.1.1. We need to know that. We need to know what channel the, uh, the thing is at. So here we see that this one's at channel one. And so uh, there's one other thing that we need to get, and that's to, to find out the, the DHCP range. Here, the DHCP range is from 100 to 199. So, so uh, those are the three important things I need to get from this router. And now I'm going to configure uh, a second router to be uh, an access point. This is the router I'm going to use as the second access point. It's, it's not gonna be a router anymore. I'm gonna disable all the routing. And just let me show you what's going on. I'm, I'm hooked up to, to any one of the, the four LAN ports we don't use the WLAN port. This is never going to be used for this. So I put a piece of tape over it to keep somebody from uh, plugging into it because uh, this will not actually be doing any routing anymore. We're going to turn all that off and all the routing and the DHCP is going to be handled by the main router that we're going to plug into this. But right now the computer is plugged into this and that's all that's there. I'm going to log into the second router now. So uh, this is a DDWRT version uh, V24 micro on uh, the Linksys uh, WRT54G v version 8. So uh, the password is root, or excuse me, the username is root, and the password is admin. Okay, so here in the, the wide area network, the WAN set, uh, setup, I'm going to uh, disable the whole WLAN, just uh, disable the whole thing so that it's not even uh, on. Uh, most routers don't have this thing, but as what you would do is you would just uh, turn off DHCP, so, uh, which is down here at the bottom. We'll turn that off too. So I'm turning off uh, that connection. And let's go down here to what I was talking about, the DHCP. And we're gonna disable DHCP. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna assign this thing uh, a local IP address. Let's get rid of this eight, I had this thing. So uh, before, if you noticed our main router is set to 192.168, dot one dot one, I'm gonna make this one, and the range was 100 to, to let's just say 200. So I need to assign this to anything that's outside of the DHCP range of the main router. So anything f below 99 or above, or 200 and above would be fine. And let me just pick a number, let me just pick two. Two is a nice number for the second router. We keep uh, the subnet mask 255, 255, 255, and uh, I gave it a gateway 192, 168. Okay, there's always the dilemma when you turn off the DHCP uh, server in the router that then your computer doesn't have an IP address anymore and you can't talk to the router and blah, 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 blah. So we have to, uh, to, to click on network and then we're gonna click on uh, network sharing center. Then you see where it says change adapter settings. We're gonna right mouse click on our local area network connection and click properties. Then we're gonna highlight internet protocol version four TCP IP v4. We're gonna click properties. And before it said obtain address automatically, which means it gets it from DHCP, but we have no DHCP. So we're gonna to have to manually assign an IP address. So I'm gonna assign it to 192 one sixty eight one and it doesn't make much difference uh, 
It could pretty much be anything. Uh, I'll just say 10. And then uh, the submet met mask, mask will keep the, the default 255, 255, 250. And then the gateway will be uh, 192.168.1.1. Okay, here's all, all the settings. And I'm going to click OK and close. And uh, now I'm going to go to a, a, a terminal. I type CMD for this. And we'll say IP config. And you can see that it's now at 192.168.1.1 with the gateway at 192.168.1.1. And now we should be able to, to get a hold of our device. So in the web browser, I typed 192.168.1.2, which is the new address that I just assigned this thing. On the wireless side, the important thing I have here is I have it set to channel 11. And uh, there's two ways you can go. You can use the same SSID as your uh, other router, and maybe even the same password. And that way, as you go through the house roaming, it'll go from one router to the other router, picking the one with the best signal. And that's a good way to do it. Or you could uh, give it a different name. And uh, either way will work. It's probably better to uh, maybe have them do the same thing. But the important thing is, is this is on channel 11. You have three channels. You have channel 1, channel 6, or channel 11. Those are the only channels you should be using because anything else is just plain overlapping. It works. Now we're, we're on the network. And let me show you what we have here on the router. On the router, I've got the, the white cord going to the computer. And the purple cord is going to the, uh, the network. So it's hardwired in the network. There's nothing hooked up to the, the WAM port, and uh, we're, we're good to go. Don't forget to go into the, the IP4 settings and change it back to obtain an IP address automatically.